again this is Kelly Slu and it's October 31st So I'm going to do the water quality and these are the ion selective electrodes, total dissolved solids. TDS, pH, potassium ions, K plus, sodium ions, Na plus, nitrate ions, and calcium ions. Start this piece, uh, 2000 ppm standards, which is going to be for calcium, it's going to be this. No, not that, that's 150, 2000. And uh, I'm going from high concentration to low concentration. And that's generally not done. Because generally they go from low concentration to high concentration. But since I'm not too sure what's giving the high total dissolved solids here. Which ion, one of these ions could be, I'm guessing it's the sodium or calcium. So for that reason, I might have to do the Calcium and uh, potassium was done. Potassium was done here, so let's do the sodium again. I 
think I need to do it the opposite. Normally I do because here the uh, nitrates are generally higher. Sorry, the, we don't know what ion is. Let's see. Calibrate. Calibrated at 2000. Once we figure out which ions are contributing to the high TDS, we recalibrate it. And sodium. Huh. to initialize it. Let's dump this out and take the sodium 2000 again and put it in here. See what we get. Move it higher a bit. Higher. Let's see if we can calibrate it again. So what we do is we turn it off, initialize it. So we get three, four, five, two. So what we do is we do this. We press there. Now we have settings where we need to press all these three together. There's a video on it by Horiba manufacturer and they talk about initializing when we press this end it turn it on Calibrated it at 2000. So this one needs to be calibrated at 2000 also. Now we are going to the lower concentration. pH So now if it's high total dissolved solids, then there's a small problem, a factor that needs to be uh, accounted for. That is because now we're talking about uh, uh, activity rather than
rather than concentration. So the activity of the ions come into play. Calibrating it at 10 pH 10 buffer for the pH. So you click calibrate and it should give you. Everything's calibrated, but we will go to the 150. For that, we need. All are now reading you are So now we are taking the 150 ppm potassium to standardize it.
Good. Calcium, sorry, potassium at hundred and fifty ppm. Sodium is being troubled somehow. So sodium we add Initialize it so we do that. I think I'm going to do the sodium and calcium for the 2000 now. Sodium.
frozen, I'll do the same calcium. I'll go and change it to 2000. Sodium, the last calibration for the calcium was 2000, for the sodium it was 2000, for the nitrate it was 150, potassium it was 150. So let's take all these and go down to the slope and see what we can get for the readings. Calibration took a long time, so now we're going down there, trying to get down there, and the best way to get down there is, I think it's from the other side.
that's the sluice on one side of the wetland that's the other side, this is the connection going like that so let's get the water sample quickly main thing is we are trying to determine the major cations and the anions heard something loud not too sure what it is remember again now we are getting These are activity because of the concentration, the high activity is going to play a big role. Take the sodium again and see what we get. So this is what we are getting, 290 for calcium, 26 for nitrate, 1900 for potassium, so it looks like potassium, sorry, 1900 for sodium, 67 for potassium, 9.28 for pH. And the total dissolved solids is 5,370. So again, 290 for, 290 for calcium ions, 35 for nitrate ions, uh, as parts per million, 1,900 for sodium, potassium is 67. 9.28 for pH and total dissolves is 6790 let's see what it is again For total dissolved solids, okay. Kelly's slew.